Well, for starters, gravity has never been isolated, manipulated, or verified. The scientific experiment, and there's like four different versions of gravity because none none of them work according to the heliocentric paradigm. Now, what gravity is, I guess, is basically buoyancy density and electrostatics. So if I let go of a helium balloon, it's not an anti-gravity device. It's just less dense than the air. So it's seeking equilibrium up. If I get a rock and drop that, it's going to go down, seek equilibrium down, because it's more dense than the medium. If I drop the, the rock in water, it's going to go through the water. It's more dense than the water. But if I get an apple, throw that in the water, it's going to float on the water because now the medium of the water is more dense than the apple. Right, so we have an electrostatic gradient constantly discharging to the earth down because the atmosphere is positively charged and the ground is negatively charged provably. So that creates a current always going down. And the force of density and buoyancy supersedes that to determine directionality. You can look up, Luke, uh, it's called Archimedes Principle or the Law of Displacement. So here's a, this is a drone made by MIT where they're literally <laughs> just changing the electrostatic potential of this and it flies. It's got no moving parts. So we're changing the electrostatic field and it lifts and propels itself. The XRT-3B triangular military aircraft, they admit that it uses electrostatics to fly, right? Why don't we have cars that do that? We should, because there's no moving parts. It's just an electrostatic difference. The earth has a negative charge. The sky has a positive charge. Anything above the earth has surrounded by that positive charge and its buoyancy and density will dictate which, which way it goes, up or down. So mm -hmm. that's that. Next mm -hmm. question. So 